CropX combines advanced cloud technology with affordable sensors in the ground. CropX technology scans your field and analyzes its different zones. CropX, the internet of soil. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine, reporting to you from the UC Research Station at Five Points, where growers gather today from the Central Valley for a vegetable crop pest and disease management seminar. One of the presentations today was given by Robert Gilbertson, plant pathologist at UC Davis, who had some breaking news to share regarding some key viruses in the field, including tomato spotted wilt virus and big curly top virus. Some of this news is good and some of it's bad, but here's Robert to give us his perspective. We're talking about tomato viruses here. Uh, the first one is the beet curly top virus, which is transmitted by the beet leafhopper, and this has been a perennial problem for tomato growers in the Central Valley. And we have some good news because we are we have a monitoring program with the CDFA that has uh, improved substantially because it includes a uh, molecular biology test where we detect the amount of virus carried by the leafhoppers and that it improves our ability to predict whether we're going to have a bad or a good year for curly top. This information is provided by the CDFA um, uh, email and website. Growers can log on and see if they can if they can anticipate having a bad year and in that case they would be more vigilant in terms of uh, uh, spray programs spraying in their fields or is it going to be a good year where the pressure is low the other good news about curly top is that we have identified a number of resistance genes in tomatoes uh, in tomato breeding lines uh, that are uh, that is conferring very good levels of resistance to be curly top and this uh, information has provided been provided to seed companies who are now embarking on breeding programs to generate resistant varieties of tomato that we hope in perhaps as little as five years may be commercially available for growers so that they don't have to worry about spraying and other ways of managing the curly top virus. So we think that there's good news on the uh, horizon as well as also very good news in the short term in terms of having a better idea of when we're going to have bad curly top years. The other viral disease that faces uh, tomato growers in the Central Valley is tomato spotted wilt virus caused by the thrips transmitted virus, tomato spotted wilt virus. Now, unlike curly top, there are resistant varieties to the tomato spotted wilt virus. Unfortunately, last year we started to see unusually high levels of spotted wilt disease in resistant varieties. Molecular characterization of these strains unfortunately has revealed a resistance breaking strain of tomato spotted wilt that emerged particularly in fresh market varieties in Cantua Creek and in Fireball. This is very aggressive on uh, these varieties that have the resistance, unfortunately, and we're very worried that this may spread into processing tomato varieties. Now we don't know how well it's going to persist and survive through the winter when thrips don't do very well and we're going to monitor very carefully in the 2017 growing season to see if this resistance breaking strain reappears. And that's one of the problems about resistance. It doesn't always uh, stay stable. The virus can mutate and come up with new forms or strains that can break resistance. And it appears that that is what we're seeing here in California. It's been previously been reported in Europe and other places, so it's not totally unexpected. We're hoping that we can manage this and that it may not become a, a huge problem. Thank you, Robert. Learn more about these disease-resistant problems in the coming issue of Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.